Good morning, class. Today we're going to learn a little bit about how to um, accurately and effectively search online. And today we're going to use Google um, as our search engine. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do first is bring up uh, the Pitsco Education website because I'm going to look for a module that we currently don't provide at MEH. So I can just show you an example. Um, I'm just going to randomly go to a page and see if we can find something that we currently don't have at MEH. Um, eco Architecture. We definitely don't have this one. So I'm going to click on Eco Architecture and I'm going to try to Google search um, some more about Eco Architecture. You know, I don't know if Eco Architecture is Economy Architecture. I don't know what Eco Architecture is. So I'm going to go ahead and look it up um, on Google. So if I go to Google.com, I'm just going to simply type in Eco architecture and Google is so smart that it predicts that I'm already going to type in eco architecture so as I'm looking through there are a couple things I want to look for one I want to look for the URL to see if it has a org a dot um, gov or possibly a dot edu because those tell me that they are credible resources um, I also want to look for the bold words because the bold words can also be associated um, with the actual search results and they can be synonyms. So here I see green, um, I see architecture, I see sustainable or sustainability. So I see some keywords that I might want to use to refine my search. So now I'm going to type in uh, green energy, uh, sustainable, and I'm going to type in renewable. So now Google is going to search for every single one of these words. So let's go ahead and search this. Okay, now I get a little bit more refined results. Um, and one of the ones I'm going to click on now is sustainable architecture, and that's off Wikipedia. Now, a lot of people don't think Wikipedia is a credible source. However, I would differ. Um, Wikipedia is an outstanding source that gives you uh, some really good information very quickly, and it also gives you lots of different contents. Um, if you look down off the side here, you can search specifically about different types of uh, renewable energy architecture, um, and it also tell you a little bit about the history as well. Um, what's nice about Wikipedia, even though anybody can edit it, um, it still cites its sources. So let's say the sentence says, uh, this term can be used to describe an energy and ecologically conscious approach to the design of the built environment. And it has a little superscript up here with a number two. If I click on that two, it directs me to the site um, which it got its resource from. So uh, it got its information from sustainable architecture and simulation modeling. So if I click on that link, it'll actually bring me to the website where it got the information, which is um, a very neat feature. So if I scroll back up, um, again, it'll give me lots of different information about what sustainable architecture is. Uh, there are some pictures, so on and so forth. So I really like Wikipedia for that example. Um, now, I wouldn't want to use Wikipedia uh, to do a research paper because it doesn't give you uh, the credible authors because anyone can edit Wikipedia. So uh, for this example, it's a good use, but for a research paper, I'd probably uh, try to get some other resources. Now, if I go back to my Google search, um, I can look for a couple other things that are on the sidebar. Uh, with this search, I can look for specific images that relate to my search. And here you can see uh, some pretty neat architectural structures uh, that require some sustainable or eco-friendly uh, materials. I can also look at maps, and it should give me um, different places around the world that would have some of these types of structures. Um, I can also click on videos and I can watch different videos about maybe construction of these different architectures, um, probably someone giving me more information about it. But when you look at these different videos, you have to be careful uh, to look who uploads these. A lot of times if you see an author or um, a person that's willing to put their name out there, um, more than likely it's a pretty credible source. And you also want to look for, again, the .org, the .gov, and the .edu uh, because those are going to be some reliable resources as well. Um, and then lastly, you can check out different news articles. Um, since there are so many words here, it's not going to give me a lot of news results. So I might want to refine my search by using the quotation mark and just type in sustainable architecture. Now, using the quotation marks, 
will allow me to search these two words next to each other, sustainable architecture. If I took the quotes off, it would search for anything that has the word sustainable or anything that has the word architecture, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna make sure I look for sustainable architecture. And it gives me lots of different results. Um, I could choose on any one of these news results, um, and you can also search by date. So this one says leading the way, green innovators, and this was updated 42 minutes ago. So I know that's pretty recent. I can click on this, um, and hopefully this will give me some uh, good information as, an, as a news article or um, any type of uh, research that I can look up. Okay, and here's a little abstract about it. Uh, so I'm gonna go back, and the last thing I wanna show you very quickly is a neat feature of Google called Google Advanced Search. And with Google Advanced Search, you get exactly that. It's an advanced search. And it gives you um, a lot more specific criteria to look for. Um, if I go ahead and type in eco architecture, I can type that in. I can look for an exact phrase if I want to type it in, or I can look for uh, multiple different types of words. Now, the best part about it is that I can, res that I can um, look for results on my reading level. But let's say I'm a beginning reader and I want to look for basic results. I can choose to have my, resu my results in, in basic reading form. Um, I can also choose intermediate or advanced results. And also, this is really cool too. I know we have lots of different languages spoken um, in our school. So we can look for results that will be in a specific language. Um, if I search for S, I can immediately go down to Spanish and I can get my results in Spanish. Okay, I can look for German, French, all different kinds of languages. So I'm just going to go back to English and show basic results for eco architecture. And I'm going to click advanced search and now it will give me only results that are in basic reading level um, for my search of eco architecture. So I hope you guys learned a little bit more about how to appropriately use Google search um, to find out information that you need. Uh, this time I'd like you guys to go back to your tables and I would like you to start searching about your specific module that you are currently in. I uh, hope you have fun and good luck.